guys welcome back to my channel i'm carly and the owner of carly's creations and today we're going to work on a really fun tumbler we're going to do a little bit of a lot of different things actually it's a bumblebee smoke tumbler so we're going to be working on some peekaboo um if you're kind of new to tumblers you'll get to see how i do the glitter the epoxy method um we're going to do some smoke so we're going to bring in some candles we're going to put some smoke effect on there we're going to do some outlining we're going to do it all so um, I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, let me know below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and join us on Facebook at Carly's Creations Tumblers and more. And I hope you love this tumbler as much as I did. It was so much fun and I just love how it came out. So, all right, let's get started. We're gonna use the 30 ounce Modern Curve from Stainless Steel Depot. And I've already prepped and sprayed it with the gold color. And the colors we're going to use are Pot of Gold, and I have a little cup mixed of Pot of Gold and some Sandcastle. And then we're going to also throw in some Pumpkin Spice for a little bit of depth. I'm going for kind of a dramatic, romantic kind of look with this tumbler, so I think this would be a nice addition. So I'm going to add that in. I'm going to stir it. Just add as much or as little as you want. Um, remember, less is more. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. <laughs> All right, we have our epoxy mixed up here, and I did start spraying my tumblers before I do the epoxy method, just real quickly with my Rust-Oleum sealer, and I've noticed that it does help get a better coverage on here um, with the spray paint, so that's just a little helpful tip. We're just gonna do a very, very thin layer. We don't want the glitter to move around once we get it, and then we're just going to coat very nicely a good even layer of this glitter. We're gonna let it dry for a few hours, and then we're gonna go ahead and just apply epoxy like normal until we get a nice smooth surface. Now that our cup has been applied with epoxy, I have two coats on here and we're going to go ahead and sand out just any bumps that we have. Any bumps that you do have, once you go ahead and spray paint those, you will see those through the spray paint. So you want to make sure you get this cup just as smooth as possible. And then we're just going to clean up the rim a little bit using our X-Acto knife. Be very careful, these knives are sharp and they can cut you. <laughs> Ask me how I know that. So just be very careful when cleaning up your rim.
it's time to add our vinyl. So I just have scrap pieces of vinyl here that I'm going to use because we're going to do a peekaboo. And I'm going to take the outer frame part off of these little hives here. And that's the piece we're actually going to use later on after a few steps here. So we're just going to take these off. I do have two different sizes. You can find, excuse me, find this file on my website under digital downloads and you can make your own just like this. So um, I use the offset font for this. And if you're not sure how to do the offset font, go ahead and check out my latest video, um, the one posted right before this, and you can see how I do that. We're gonna go ahead and place the queen bee quote here right at the top, and I'm just gonna eyeball it and center it just as center as possible and make sure you press down really hard. If you get a tiny little ripple here and there, don't worry too much about it. You just wanna make sure all those edges are really sealed so when you spray paint it, uh, that spray paint will stay within those lines. And then we're just gonna do the same exact thing with our beehives here and just place them anywhere around the cup that you would like. I try to go some at the top, some at the bottom, just so they're kind of evenly spread around the cup. Once we have everything placed, I'm gonna take this out and I'm just gonna spray paint it. I do three coats. Uh, that part I didn't film because you've seen me do that several times before. And I'm just using the same flat white paint that I always use that will be linked down below. I do three coats just to make sure I get a really good coverage and then we're gonna move on to smoking it. We're going to go ahead and use this little tea light here and a very cheap little um, knife that I got from the dollar store. You can actually buy them in a whole pack. And I have found that the cheaper candles, like these little tea lights, do work better because they are more likely to produce a black smoke, which in this technique you're going to want. So you're going to very carefully hold that knife right over the flame and you'll notice as you hold it, you'll see some black smoke start to come up. We're just going to turn our tumbler and keep moving it all around and you'll notice that that smoke will start to stick to that paint. And I will note that I did let my paint dry for about a half an hour until it was completely dry to the touch before moving to this step. Once you get the smoke look that you want, we're gonna go ahead and seal it one more time with our Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Clear to make sure everything is sealed. And then I let it sit for about a half an hour and move on to getting those little peekaboo pieces off. Now comes part of the fun. Let's reveal our glitter here. Very carefully get your weeding tweezers and pull off that vinyl. I don't wait too long because I don't want it to stick. 
And yes, I did use permanent vinyl because I don't really have any temporary vinyl, but I've never run into any issues using permanent vinyl as long as you take it off within a fairly quick time matter. So we're just going to go ahead and move on. I won't show the whole thing, but you can kind of see it is obviously sped up. So you do want to take your time so you don't nick that paint. Once you get all of your pieces off, we'll go to the next step. All right, it's time to add some more vinyl. So I am using a black permanent Orcal 651 vinyl that I get from Amazon. And I printed out the inner part of our offset here. And you can see it's just in the black. We're gonna use all black. Like I said, I'm going for a very fun, dramatic, kind of romantic look on this tumbler. And we're gonna go ahead and very carefully pull this off and just place it right in the center of where our offset is here. Now it's time to add that outer layer of the honeycomb and I'm going to do this by lining up the middle part and once I I notice once I start to line up that middle part the rest kind of just fall into place and so I'm going to do the same that I do with every image place down in the middle and just slowly work my way out until I have all of it covered and very carefully pull that vinyl back I will note that I have not put another coat of epoxy on so I am doing this straight on the spray paint if you're more comfortable adding that extra layer of epoxy for protection, you can definitely do that. I just made sure to spray seal that very well and I didn't have any issues. Let's add our bumblebees, aren't they cute? So we're just gonna randomly place these throughout the cup. I don't really have a set place in mind as far as where I want to put them, but I do have some big and some that are a little bit smaller size-wise, and just kind of randomly put them around the tumbler. And then after this step, I am going to add another coat of epoxy before we add our flowers.
I found these beautiful vintage looking flowers and I just had to add them. I thought they would be the perfect splash of color onto this tumbler. So like I said, I did add a thin coat of epoxy to this and the reason I did that was so you don't see those lines underneath the flowers there and we get a smooth application. I will note with this image, some of those little tiny flowers sticking out were kind of a little bit of a pain. So I did end up having to add two layers of epoxy afterwards when I thought I was just gonna have to add one, but that's okay. I'm still happy with how it came out. And I love this little splash of color that we have here. So that's pretty much it. We're just gonna go ahead and get this sealed and we are done with this tumbler. It was super fun to create and I love how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions, as always, ask me below. Don't forget to join us over on Facebook at Carly's Creations, Tumblers, and more, and we'll see you on the next video.